Do you know that you have food for your best in the next? Take some time, sir. The last bar. So nice to see you again. Likewise. So, how are you liking them? Amazing. I'm very impressed. I enjoy my work. Shall we walk? Please. So, was a week long enough for you to get a good feel? You've worked out how to use them reliably? I was a little unsure at first. I ended up in Stowe Lake twice in my first day. I'm sure you picked it up quickly, though. Soon enough. I have to admit, I wouldn't have thought they seemed so plain. What were you expecting? Bells and tassels? No. I don't know. Something with mist and sparkle. Some sort of twisting or special effects. They don't work that way. I'm sure a few hundred years ago my ancestors might have sprinkled gold dust or talc or phosphorescent powder on them. But it certainly isn't necessary. And I believe discretion is important for someone in your line of work. Hmm. No, you're right. I appreciate that they're nondescript. It's interesting. For what I do, it's sometimes necessary to use stage magic, misdirection, to draw attention away from myself. It's just odd to have the real thing seem so plain. Perhaps that's an unconscious bias amongst those in my line of work. Gaudi items tend to remind us of the stage, the tools of charlatans. I hadn't thought about it to that extent, but it's a thought worth examining. You know the other funny thing? I always hated those movies where the characters turn a corner and suddenly they're in another part of the city. <laughs> That's actually rather common. Many of my best customers have a strong sense of place, almost a sense of justice about location. You have to really know where you want to go. Place is, place is something that's in your heart. It's a combination of yearning and certainty that really drives the process forward. You have to know the place. You have to love it. Love the smell of the air, the dryness of a breeze, the angle of light on a summer afternoon. You need an emptiness in your heart that can only be filled by being in that particular place. And yet, you need an iron certainty of spirit strong enough to push you there. You may have missed your calling as a poet. I saw many brilliant poets come through this town in the 1950s. Yes, I'm older than I look, but that's another matter. Anyway, I have plenty of time to think. It takes seven years to make a set, you know. Thus the rarity. And the price. Well, there's certainly a lot of work. It takes half a dozen precise astronomical alignments just to temper the materials. I'm not arguing or dickering. They're easily worth it. It's just going to take a long time to pay them off. It's my retirement account, plus several loans to people who don't ask questions and don't take excuses. But the quantity of your work will surely increase. You'd be surprised. Modern surveillance technology is amazingly sophisticated, even in private homes and vaults. You could always go to work for the good guys. Insurance companies pay well for recovered artwork. There's missing persons cases, kidnap victims. I've thought about it, and it would be nice, but I know what I'm doing, and... And there is the thrill. Hmm. So would you continue to work this town? I love this city. My heart is here. Plus, I know who can afford to part with things and who needs a helping hand. Admirable. Anyway, it's not my position to judge how you use them. So do we have a sale? Magic shoes that let you step from one place to another? Heck yes. 
So what do I do when they need resoling? Oh, on the house. You know where to find me and where to send the money. Well, thanks and good luck. <laughs>